from Wish TV's 24-hour News 8, this is Breaking News. We are all over Breaking News right now. The city of Indianapolis getting another major sporting event. And this time, all of the NBA All-Stars will be invading the Hoosier State. Sports Director Anthony Calhoun joining us now live from Banker's Life Fieldhouse with all the details. This is huge news, AC. Guys, I tell you what, it is without a doubt major, major news. We told you this morning on Wish TV on Daybreak that Indianapolis has been awarded the 2021 NBA All-Star Game. Unbelievable. You know, the, uh, the Patriots organization, they made a bid about a year ago to get this game, and it looks like it's going to come to fruition for this Pacers organization. The last time the All-Star Game was here was back in 1985. Take a look here behind me. You see the podium right there as we'll have, of course, the commissioner, Adam Silver, will be here as well, along with uh, the front office from the Indiana Pacers and a huge crowd on hand here um, this afternoon for this special announcement. You can see all the folks here in attendance right here in the pavilion area here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. And this is just the start of many major events coming to the Circle City. I mean, it all starts in uh, 2020 when you have the, the Big Ten football championship and then when you go to February of 2021 you've got the NBA All-Star game and then after that just a couple months later you're going to have the 2021 men's final four and then another Big Ten football championship coming up in the latter part of the year in December and then in 2022 you've got the football playoff championship game so indy is the place to be coming up right here for many many years to come because all the major sporting events coming here to central indiana now a lot of folks talk about just as far as the impact of this game and far as economically what it means for the city of Indianapolis and when you think about it from prior uh, fun, excuse me, from prior uh, NBA All-Star games in the past it could bring anywhere from 40 to 50 million dollars that type of economic impact to the city itself so there's no doubt this is a major event coming here to central Indiana and I was told today by sources that not only will Bankers Life Fieldhouse be the site for the All-Star Weekend, but I'm also told tonight that Lucas Oil Stadium will also be involved when it comes to the NBA All-Star Game. As a matter of fact, they're going to have the three-point contest, the slam dunk contest, the celebrity game is going to take place at Lucas Oil Stadium. I'm told this evening that they will not take the entire Lucas Oil Stadium. As a matter of fact, it's going to be cut in half, but you can expect well over 30-plus thousand folks on hand for that great Great weekend coming up in 2021 for the NBA All-Star game. And then, of course, the game is going to take place right here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Let's take one more look here behind me. As you can see, we're getting moments away from hearing from the commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver, as well as the front office from the Indiana Pacers, the governors here, also the mayor as well for this big announcement moments away getting ready to take place here at Bankers Life Fieldhouse. Phil? Hey, see, you know, while you're out there, you, you talked about it a little bit, um, about the financial impact and the, the economic impact, and that also includes big business for restaurants and stores as well. You have that many people that come to downtown Indianapolis at one time. They're also going to get a good economic yeah. shot in the arm, right? You're going to get me in trouble. Yeah, you're, you're right about that, Phil. I mean, without a doubt, this is major for the, the city of Indianapolis. We're here with Tamika Catchings, of course, who works here with the Pacers now, of course, in the front office, former Indiana Fever star. I, what a moment for this organization. I know you've got to be so excited about this, right? I'm so excited. And, of course, you look back here, that's what I told all the NBA reps. I'm like, you guys will never 
think about another city like you'll think about it, having the All-Star Weekend here. Yeah, and there's been talks about this for some time. I, mean, I know they made a big bid out there in New York City to the commissioner. And anytime you have Larry Bird yeah. and Bob, you know it's going to work out, right? I mean, how about that? Yes, he was in the, the yeah. IndyCar there. Um, when you reflect on this and knowing the, the big events that we've had here in our city, how special is this event, though, for the folks who may not be that familiar with the NBA All-Star Weekend and how festive it can be? Well, I mean, I think it's great not only for the NBA All-Star Weekend, but think about all the things that we've been able to do, Super Bowl being one of them, all the NCAA Final Four, Big Ten Tournament. You know, we have a lot of great things that come through this city, but I think more importantly to look at the NBA All-Star Weekend and, uh, you know, having it here in Indianapolis, it puts us on the map even further in the basketball world. Yeah, the, the um, governor's right here behind us. He's here as we well. Go. Also, Kevin <laughs> Pritchard. One more question with you. We know Paul George is ready to play here tonight, yeah, back afraid. for the first time. No, I said ready oh, to play. Okay. He, may be, he may be afraid. I don't know about that. Bad, no. But I know he's back for the first time here in Indy since, uh, obviously, the trade. He's with the Thunder. I know you know PG well, but how about this basketball team for the, for the Pacers? Have they been just outstanding? It has been so much fun watching them. And, you know, I think for me, being on the other side now and being around them on a consistent basis, you know, not only the fun that, they, that you see on the court, but I think even going to practices and just the personality of the guys, you can tell that they're having a great time. And I think you know, as a player, anytime you can go in and, you know, know that every single day you go out, it's not like a dread to be there, but yeah. it's a lot of fun. Okay, we'll let you get out of here. Right, Free weekend Good seeing you as always. That's former Indiana Fever star, of course, Tamika Catchings here today for this big announcement. The 2021 NBA All-Star Game has been awarded to the city of Indianapolis. We take another look here behind me. As you see, Larry Bird has arrived here. He's here along with the governor there as well. There's the commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silvers, here as well. Of course, uh, the owner of your Indiana Pacers, Mr. Simon, is here as well. Um, without a doubt, this is a, a special moment for so many people that work for the Pacers organization. I mean, this is the, the event that they really wanted to get and to showcase this city and how this city can put on an event like this here today. Phil? Yeah, hey, and AC, uh, you know, you, you got word of this a little bit early on. Um, this has clearly been in the works for a couple of weeks because obviously people had to get here, they had to arrive, they had to plane tickets, that sort of thing. Um, this is something that has been kind of talked about for the past couple of weeks, right? It has, Phil. So we're going to listen in now to Quinn Buckner. Uh, he's ready to, he's at the podium, and let's, let's listen in. Home of the Indiana Pacers. I'm Quinn Buckner, TV analyst for the Pacers, and today we're here to share some exciting news that involves the NBA, the Pacers, and the entire local community. Indianapolis has played host to some of the most prestigious sporting events in America. Of course, there's the annual Indianapolis 500. Seems like you can't go anywhere in the city without running into an Indy car. Even right here in Bankers Life Fieldhouse, in recent years, this proud city has had the final four for the men's and the women. Here in Indianapolis, we've had the Super Bowl. And today we focus on the National Basketball Association. And we're honored today to be joined by some very special guests. And it's time to meet them right now. First, he's the President and Chief Operating Officer of Pacer Sports and Entertainment, Rick Fusen. We like Rick. <laughs> we like Rick. Our next guest is President of Basketball for the Pacers, Kevin Pritchard. Now, please welcome the mayor of the great city of Indianapolis, Mayor Joe Hawkstead. <laughs> and joining us today is the governor of the great state of Indiana, Eric Holcomb. He is the owners of Pacers Sports and Entertainment, Herb Simon. And finally, the gentleman who joined the NBA back in 1992 and now in his fifth season as the commissioner, here to make today's official announcement, please welcome Adam Silver. Thank you much, very much, Queen. I thought this was supposed to be a secret. 
but it uh, is my pleasure to announce officially that the 2021 NBA All-Star Game will take place here at the Baker's Life Fieldhouse. So, um, a few thank yous are in order. Uh, Governor Holcomb, thank you very much for the support of you, your staff, and the entire state. We're looking forward to being here. Um, and of course, uh, Mayor Hogsett, thank you. Um, again, your city has been terrific to work with. We do this all over the country, and the reception has been fantastic. Um, from the Pacers organization, let me begin with Herb Simon. Herb is the longest standing owner in the NBA. He's not the oldest owner in the NBA, but he's the longest standing owner. And Herb became the owner with his brother Melvin in 1983, and shortly after we had our 35th NBA All-Star Game here in Indiana. So that was in 1985, so more than 30 years ago. And interestingly enough, that when we come back in 2021, it will be our 70th All-Star Game for, in the history of the league. So we didn't exactly plan it that way, but thank you very much. Um, Kevin Pritchard, um, the new president of basketball operations here at the Pacers, you're new in that job, but you've done everything in this league. You've played, you've coached, general managed, uh, now as the president. Thank you very much for working with us on this. And um, of course, Rick Fusen, um, who runs one of the great operations in all the league as the president of business operations here and who runs this building. Um, Thank you again for your work. Uh, Jim Morris, who is the vice chair, who's a legendary host of all of us when we're here. If you've never been to one of his dinner parties, I highly recommend them. It's, it's, we're doing that later tonight, so thank you, Jim. We really appreciate that. Um, and just a few more things from me. Um, a lot has changed since we were last here for an NBA All-Star game in the 1980s, and that is that then it really was the NBA All-Star Game. It was an event that took place one day or a portion of one day, and it was one game. It then extended to All-Star Weekend over the years, where we, of course, added those additional contests, the three-point shot, um, you know, slam dunk, and those other events. But what it's become now, um, modern era, is truly All-Star Week of Activities. And that's where we look forward to working with the city and the state and the organization. There'll be activities throughout the community. We saw a presentation this afternoon from Rick and Kevin and their staffs on how you intend to sort of reinterpret Indianapolis, um, and which is truly, you know, the heartland of basketball here in Indiana. I think this is, in terms of if cities and states have brands, part of the brand of this city and state is the sport of basketball. This is a, a game and a series of activities that will be televised, if, if there's still such thing as television in 2021, technology is changing quickly, but somehow it will be transmitted to over 215 countries and territories. So there's no doubt um, for that week in February in 2021, the epicenter of basketball in the world will be here in Indiana. So with that, I want to thank all of you very much for your support, and I'll be here lots of times between now and 2021, but I look forward to seeing you all then as well. So thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner Silver. No one is more excited about today's news than our next guest, who, along with his late brother Melvin, purchased the Pacers in 1983 to ensure that they stay here in Indianapolis. Let's hear from the owner, Mr. Herb Simon. How do you do? You know, it's, uh, it's always an honor to have the commissioner, one of the greatest commissioners of all time, visit our city. So anytime he comes here, it's a great day. But when he comes here and gives us an all-star game, that's a really great day. Thank you very much. Very much. I remember that. For, I was still here in 1985, right? It was really not a big deal. We didn't have to, they gave it to us. We didn't have to beg them. <laughs> now it's become such an important thing. 
we really had to beg him to get this. And uh, I, uh, last, uh, last All-Star game, I took my son, one of my sons, to New Orleans, and the difference between 1985 and the week they put on now is so, so incredible, so professional, so entertaining that you're all in for a great, great week when we bring the NBA All-Star game here, and I'm looking forward to it, and I'm sure you'll all enjoy it. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Simon. Our next speaker is the only person who can possibly boast about Okay, so there you have it. It is official. 2021 NBA All-Star Game awarded to the city of Indianapolis. Of course, we'll have more live coverage coming up tonight at 5 o'clock here on Wish TV. Phil, we'll, we'll, we'll send it back to you now. Sports Director Anthony Calhoun live in downtown Indianapolis uh, for us on this busy, busy day of news. AC, thank you very much. We'll see you back here tonight at 5. Just to recap, the NBA All-Star Game coming to Indianapolis. We'll see you this evening.